Western Draft Ballarat Cup and they're about to move in, Matt. Yes, a quiver when he won it last year was 20 to 1. He's the favourite this year. Barcelos, Peter Mertens ran second and Adolescence ran third last year, ridden by Brett Preble. But a quiver aiming to win the cup again. Victoria Park's in 11 minutes. Quantum Leap is the top rater from Blue Princess, Abid Star and Charlini. 4, 1, 3 and 2. And we'll concentrate on that race at Victoria Park after Ballarat. Because this is the Ballarat Cup, sponsored by Carlton Draft. And runners are about to move into line. Big crowd all down on the, uh, the fence. Having a look at them, they... Uh, they release them in the home straight here at uh, Ballarat for the 2200 metre start. And Quiver is going to run the favourite ahead of Del Vecchio. This is a very important jockey change on this horse. Karen McAvoy has picked up the ride, replacing Andrew Findlay on the very much in form Mick Price Galloper. He's won his last three and, uh, and uh, could easily wind up his preparation with a win in the Ballarat Cup. It's number 11, uh, number 17 there. Uh, per Livick to be ridden by Wayne Hawkeye, one of the uh, one of the outsiders. They are calling them in for the cup. Here's Greg. Now Native Jazz goes in alongside Say Out of Century in those uh, new colours, the Kangaroos colours. Here's Del Vecchio. He holds tight favouritism just Del Vecchio ahead of a quiver, so it's a reversed situation. 15 on top of one on track. And uh, the third favourite is eight, as you would, and then four, Tickle My. Out then to uh, number 11, Crescent, a big drifter on course. Barcelos is ahead of it, number 14 on track. A quiver, only five horses have won back-to-back -back Ballarat Cup since 1910. Worry Symbol the last to do it in the early 1980s. Here's Loire Valley moving in now. Varsileos stood well in seven. He was second last year to a quiver. Mighty Ming is set. Crescent has gone in. Prolific stood well with Bold Bard. Soldado to move up. Here's last year's winner, a quiver, taking his place in the gates. Darren Gauchi rode him last year. He also won this race on Pressman's Choice in 1989. They're nearly ready. Here's Soldado completing the line. Ready now. This is the Ballarat Cup. They're all in. They're set to go. Racing now. As you would jumped away well, the Destina missed the start by about a length, and Barcelos began OK in the early stages. Going forward, T-Rex from the outside, and the quiver was away fast, and Del Vecchio's driving up with eye chance. Good pace. Eye chance at the post lead from Del Vecchio, a quiver wide. Gauchi might grab hold and slot in. There's plenty of room for him to come back and sit outside, as you would, as they lead the straight. Next is Barcelos. Pace is very generous. Next, Loire Valley. Followed T-Rex is on his outside as they leave the straight. Native Jazz tucked away on the inside. About a neck away then to worth the weight. Crescent working up deep on the outside of it from Perlific and then came Sale of Century. Closely followed in the field then by La Destina. Two links to tickle my mighty Ming. And well back is Bold Bard and Soldado down the back and I chance the leader at the 1400. He's a length and a half. Del Vecchio steadied up second. A quiver wants to over race third. Two and a half as you would. A beautiful trail on the yellow colours. A length to Marcelaos. Two to T-Rex on the outside of Loire Valley and there followed then by Crescent out wide on the uh, inside is Native Jazz and worth the weight in the centre a length and a half to Perlific followed by Sale of Century, T two lengths to Tickle My Wide around Ledestina and then came Mighty Ming, Bold Bard and Soldado last of all 900 to go, coming off the back an eye chance in front, a quiver strode to second, Del Vecchio's now back third, Varsileos is fourth as you would fifth the inside, then T-Rex Loire Valley followed by Crescent no luck, still wide, worth the wait next with the prolific the outside and then Native Jazz, he's followed then by Sale of Century, Lenestina pulled to the outside, Tickle My but spotting the leader about 15, coming towards the turn from Mighty Ming, Bulbard and Soldado, high chance led from last year's winner, a quiver coming around the turn, Del Vecchio held up a little just behind them and Vasileos off with his run, T-Rex came wide Sale of Century off the track running on as you would has had a good trail and he's trying to work clear now, it's now Vasileos hitting the lead at the 200 Sale of Century down the outside running on, a quiver, Native Jazz coming through on the inside and so is as you would, Vasileos is well clear though 100 to go, he's holding them at bay Vasileos, he'll be too good, Vasileos wins it, Vasileos first as you would second, Sale of Century, I'll give it the third from Native Jazz
Jazz, closely followed by Prolific Del Vecchio, Bulbard, Loire Valley, and then came T-Rex, followed in by Aquiver, who wilted in the run home, Soldado, and then came Worth the Weight, Crescent had a hard run, I Chance folded up, he's trailed by Mighty Ming, Tickle Mai, and Lerdestina. Runner-up last year, he's won it this year, Vas Salios, Reese McLeod, and Pat Carey. He's won it by two or three lengths on the line. A beautiful ride by Reese McLeod. 14, 8 and 6 of the official placings. Number 14, Vasileos, Reese McLeod has won the race. He's taken out the cup. Second, number 8, as you would. And third, number 6, Sale of Century, running his best race in a long, long time. 14, 8 and 6. Fourth place was Native Jazz, number 3. And fifth in the race was number 17, Perlific. It was a beautiful on-pace ride by Rhys McLeod. He didn't put a foot wrong. He was the first to go out and chase them coming around the home turn. And this horse has fairly outstayed his opposition in the run home in the Ballarat Cup. He was second last year. He's gone one better with a tremendously strong victory. Far too good for them in the run home. Yes, the trip was certainly no problem for him. He's won up to 2,400 metres in the past. In fact, he'd only won four races prior to today, but uh, they'd been up over those longer trips. He's a real stayer, Vasileos, giving a very big win to Rhys McLeod and Pat Carey. So that's the Ballarat Cup. We'll have more there shortly, 14, 8 and 6. But uh, we've got Victoria Park coming up in a few moments. They're at the barrier. The Last year, this horse, he put in a brave effort 12 months ago, but, gee, you, you trained him right to the minute today. Yeah, look, last year he's beaten in course record time and um, this year's extra special to win because Reese, Reese McLeod rode him and um, Reese needed a good win at the moment yeah. and he's uh, ridden that horse absolute treat today. No doubt about it. He just put him in such a perfect position through the pace was on. Look, he's a, he's a fast, he's an on-pace stayer and he needs a good gallop in front of him and uh, he got that today. Reese McLeod, you look after him. Uh, I know going back to Melbourne Cup Day or prior to that, you had to make a tough decision in regard to a jockey uh, going in for your horse in the Melbourne Cup. You went with Brett Preble, but that was certainly nothing against Reese. No, that was just a, it was a decision based on experience at the time and, and a bit of an owner's decision. So, um, you know, Reese understands and he's a good company man. He understands that's what happens sometimes. I suppose what I'm saying, it was one of the toughest decisions you've had to make. Well, he's had a character building year and I'm sure it'll only make him stronger and better person. Well done to you, Pat. Uh, winning the Ballarat Cup for Vasileos, you can try and take the big double, the Eclipse Stakes <laughs> on Saturday with Thong Classic. Be nicer on second in them both last year. <laughs> well, you'll turn it round. Good on you, Pat. Pat Kerr, that might be an omen. Hang on, we want to get on that. Vasileos, who finished second in the Cup last year, has won the Ballarat Cup. Last year in the Eclipse Stakes, uh, Thong Classic finished second to Fields of Omar, and who knows this Saturday? It might be the omen coming into Saturday. But well done today to the Kerry Camp and Reese McLeod with Vasileos. And fourth in the Ballarat Cup was Native Jazz. He was charging home for Danny Nikolic. Uh, number three, fourth, first four, 11,705.10. A break, you've just seen the Ballarat Cup, won by Vasileos. Racing. And they're broken in a good line, as you would on the inside, away safely, away well, Vasileos and Del Vecchio going forward. I Chance is also working up and a quiver is trying to cross the field and over on the outside is T-Rex. At the judge with a round to go, we've got a line of about five of them here as As You Would drops back and I Chance in front of Del Vecchio, three deep as a quiver. Two lengths further back then comes As You Would, Vasileos behind him. Then T-Rex on the outside of Loire Valley. Next a length and a half was Native Jazz on the outside was Worth the Weight, Polific is deep. On the inside, Sale of Century going forward, then was Crescent, who's been off the track, Lee Destina. Ticklemeyer settles back fourth last with Mighty Ming, Boldbard, and two last of all to Soldano as they string right out. About 15 lengths first to last, I chance in front, but just over a length. The favourite sitting second, Del Vecchio, two and a half third is a quiver who got across. Behind it, two lengths away, as you would, then Vasileos. The favourites are all up there handy, a length and a half further away, T-Rex with Loire Valley. Native Jazz on the inside of Worth the Weight. 
Then comes next would have been Sale of Century Politic, working forward out deepest crescent, not having any luck. Two away then was Lee Destina with Tickle My out wide. Mighty Ming, well back, bold Bart, and last of all is Soldado at the thousand metres. And I chance by just over a length to a quiver who swept around the outside of Del Vecchio to go to second. Fourth placing then is As You Would on the inside of Barcelos. Two lengths away then T Rex followed by Loire Valley Crescent. He's still out wide on the track on the inside Native Jazz followed by Worth the Weight Polivic and then Tickle My Deep at going forward from Sale of Century. Up before the turn now, 700 metres out. I chance by three parts of Quiver. A length away third Del Vecchio. Three parts further back then was Varsalaos followed by As You Would on the inside of T Rex. Sale of Century starting to make some ground over on the outside with Loire Valley and in the centre Crescent and further back Tickle My and Native Jazz around the turn inside the 400 and a Quiver reached the lead. Varsalaos deep route T Rex wide out Sale of Century as you would trying to get through and further back then comes at the head of the others Loire Valley in front Varsalaos below the 200 from as you would done the outside Sale of Century then Native Jazz a Quiver is gone. Politic runs on but Varsalaos second last year not this year first for him. Varsalaos two and a half lengths as you would second tight third Native Jazz and Sale of Century followed in then by Politic. Further back then was Del Vecchio who weakened in the straight. Loire Valley, Bold Bar to Quiver. Then comes Worth the Weight, followed in by I Chance Crescent. Forget he went around. Mighty Ming tickle my well back and one of the last was Lee Destina. Number 14, the winner of the Ballarat Cup. The late male, Varsaleos for Reese McLeod. 11.60 and 3.50. Eight is second as you would, 2.80. Tight the minors, three Native Jazz, 3.90. Or six Sale of Century, 5.80. He took the lead from a Quiver just after turning for home. And he swept away to win in very commanding fashion after running second to a quiver here in this race last year. Congratulations to Pat Carey. 14, 8 and 6. 8 second as you would Luke Curry. Number 6, Sale of Century. Our deep third, Peter Mertens. The winner, number 14, Varsalaos by Regal Classic out of Pentea. I won't to leave it being boxed at uh, Sandown. 14, Varsalaos. Reese McLeod. 11.63.50, as you would, 2.80, 6 sale of Century, 5.80, Quinella, 45.60, Exactra, 117.40, the Trifecta, 2,762.30, the Double, 7 and 14, that was Barton Gate, and Varsalaus, 202.30, and the Special div Dividend is 14.60. Now, being boxed sand down. Carnival Cup heats at...